guys and welcome to my channel C Panda Crafts. For those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Wendy. I'm super excited because I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. I know it's been a couple of weeks for those of you that are currently subscribed to my channel since I've done a uh, Dollar Tree haul. I apologize. We've had sickness kind of sweep through our household and things have been kind of crazy. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. Okay, so as always, I like to start off my Dollar Tree hauls with a tote of the week. And this week's tote is this really cute makeup bag that I picked up from Sally Beauty. Um, when I was visiting my sister in Oregon, uh, we went in to get some stuff uh, for my hair. And I spent, I think, a little bit over $40. And I qualified, I guess, for a free tote. So I picked this one. It's really cute. And it actually... Um, has like this little part where you can cinch it on the sides and make like a, I guess, different shaped tote. So it'll look actually like this, which is really cute as well. And I'm not sure if they still have this deal going on, but it's worth checking out if you uh, like to shop at Sally Beauty's. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I didn't get a ton of stuff this time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling things out. This is the Build Bonzana, and it's an as seen on TV product. And I've seen other people haul them and it comes with like four different colored tapes. There, there's three feet of each tape and they're flexible and they work with Lego and the Mega Blocks brand. So, I was super excited to find this to put in my son's Easter basket. He is 10. And so here's like a little glimpse of like the different things you can do, um, which I thought was really cool. Now I did look on Amazon and this product uh, doesn't have very good reviews. Uh, it's currently a little bit over $10 on Amazon. It has like two and a half out of five stars. But I mean, for a dollar, I still think it is a great value and a great Easter basket item. And I think the reason people uh, gave this such low reviews on Amazon is because I guess the, the sticky backing is not very sticky. So if you're interested in that, um, yeah, it can be found on Amazon or at Dollar Tree. And then to kind of go along with his Lego theme, I picked up this really fun little water bottle. So yeah, again, I'm gonna, I'm kind of going with a Lego theme for his basket. So I thought I only saw yellow and I was at the checkout and I saw this on an end cap. Someone just randomly placed it there. So I'm not sure if there are other, color, other colors. Let me know in the comment box down below if you have spotted other colors. And then for my daughter, I picked up this little dough um, Play-Doh pack. It's not the brand Play-Doh, but it's the brand dough. And it just comes with like little things to play with um, Play-Doh. It has like the little roller and like a little knife. And I think it has a knife. Maybe it doesn't. But these like little shapes and stuff for her to play with her Play-Doh. She likes to sit up in her her high chair and play with those. This is going to be a chatty, uh, very super chatty uh, haul, by the way, if you haven't noticed already. And I will be doing a Walmart, um, a Walmart haul for uh, Easter basket items, probably in the next week or so. And I'll go ahead and bring you guys along with me to the store for those of you that are interested in the shop with me. So just stay tuned for that. And then I picked up five candles, you guys, and these are so stinking cute. I'm really, really happy. So the first candles I picked up were these really pretty, uh, almost I think they're called like milk glass jars. And I love the texture. They're very farmhouse. So this one is like a blush pink color. And then this one is just white. And then they come in blushed white wine is the scent for this one. And then a sparkling Prosecco is this scent. And you guys, these I didn't buy these for the scent. They honestly, I can't really smell anything. These don't really have a strong scent. Um, I purchased these 
specifically just for the jar. I love Dollar Tree's cute little candle jars. If you're going, if, if you're buying the a Dollar Tree candle for the throw or the scent, I re highly recommend the old Williamsburg candles in the little mason jars. Those, in my opinion, have the best throw. And okay, so the next one I got was this really beautiful cobalt blue jar with the little cork top. And I thought it was just stunning. And it is in the number three happy. This one has a, a fresh, a very fresh scent. It's a little bit stronger than those, but again, not very strong in the scent. I just got it for the stick aesthetic. And I do plan on um, starting to experiment with making candles. So after I burn these, I can refill them with my own candle scent was kind of why I've been collecting these cute little candle jars. And then this one is in citrus and sandalwood. Uh, I don't know if it's going to focus. But anyways, this one, again, doesn't have a strong smell at all. Uh, they also had the pomegranate, citrus and pomegranate, I believe. And this one was just really, really beautiful. I love the detail on this one. I don't know if it's focusing, you guys. Can't really tell. But again, love this one. And then the last candle I picked up was this Soy Blend Mermaid Reef Candle. And this one has a very, like, floor rose scent to it, which doesn't really make sense with the uh, name of the candle. But the scales is why I purchased this candle. I thought the scales are very beautiful. They look like little fish or mermaid scales and also kind of like that Moroccan uh, pattern. So I really loved the jar on this one. And the thing, I don't know why I didn't show this in the beginning. The thing is that I'm most excited about this haul are these new tiles or um, carpet tiles. And this one says, this is our happy place, which I love the blue. I thought it was really, really beautiful. And then this one, which is like that kind of like olive and mustard color. You had me at woof. So cute. And then this one that just says our nest. I love the font. It is very farmhouse, very beautiful. They also had one that I believe that said blessed. I felt kind of weird about having a, um, a carpet tile that said blessed and then walking on it. I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't feel, it didn't sit right with my soul. So, uh, yeah, I thought these were really cute and they had a bunch of different colors and these are perfect to put outside of like a sliding glass door and they are very um i guess short so you could actually just layer this on top of just a plain doormat and it would look really cute and they're only a dollar so when they get all nasty and everything you don't have to feel bad about throwing them away because you only spent a dollar on them so I thought those were really cute. And then I picked up this wall decal with the mermaids on it. And this one was really, really beautiful. And then I, on the back, it has like a dolphin. And I got these for actually my daughter. My daughter is obsessed with uh, dolphins, mermaids, unicorns, puppies, and kitties. So I figured this would be really cute to maybe put on some canvas and do like some little uh, art, wall art for her bedroom when we move. I think I'm going to go with like an ocean theme since how she loves dolphins and mermaids. So that was my idea for those. And then the last few items I picked up, um, I purchased these really beautiful napkins. This one has the American goldfinch on it. And the bat, I love birds. And I'm going to be using these in my junk journals and decoupaging and things like that. These are perfect. And then this one, it just has the rose and then a little music strip, music notes. And they also had one with a big butterfly on it. I'm not a huge butterfly 
uh, fan. They're pretty. I'm just not really, I'm, I'm more into birds and flowers. So I picked those up and like I said, those are great for decoupaging art and um, projects. So that's what I picked those up for. Um, I only picked up one pack of stickers this time, you guys. I put back like 10. I'm really trying to be mindful of my spending at the Dollar Tree. I think this haul I spent like six, $16. And, you know, just because things are a dollar in the Dollar Tree doesn't mean you can't mess it. You can't go tear it up at the Dollar Tree. I mean, I've been known, you know, to walk out of there spending, you know, $50 like, like that and not really meaning to. Um, it's just like you get really excited and, and I get really excited around the stickers. That's where I can spend a decent chunk of change. So I'm trying to really limit myself when I go in there and just, you know, choose one or two instead of buying the whole sticker aisle. So I picked up these really cute ones and I just love the little, I think this is an orange tree or an apricot tree and the plants and it was very spring and I put back a bunch like I said that were really cute but now I'm like I gotta go back and get those but I'll save that for another Dollar Tree haul and then I purchased this and I was this has been on my wish list for a very long time this is not a new item it's been out for a while and it's just like this really beautiful book of crossword puzzles and I purchased this to put in my Easter basket um, I love crossword puzzles. They also had Sudoku and uh, a word search. And I just, I personally love crosswords. Okay guys, so before I end this Dollar Tree haul video, I just wanted to share something with you guys that I'm really passionate about. If you haven't already been able to tell, uh, I am in love with orcas. It's uh, my favorite animal and I named my channel after it, Sea Panda Craft. So uh, yeah, I wanted to share with you guys something I'm really passionate about and kind of my goals as my channel, as my channel grows. And my biggest, one of my biggest goals um, for my channel is to raise awareness for these animals that are endangered, especially the southern resident orcas that are made up of three different pods, J, K, and L. And what better way to do that than to use, you know, my YouTube platform to raise awareness for them. Really quickly, uh, some of you may have heard of J35 Tahlequah. She made national and world headlines last summer when she carried her, her de deceased calf um, for 17 days. And uh, I think it gave people like kind of like it kind of shocked people and, you know, made them realize, hey, you know, these animals have feelings. They, you know, grieve. And it was just really sad to watch for the whole world, I think. And um, so that's one of the pods that I'm talking about when I say Southern Residents, um, J-Pod. And uh, that, I just, my heart hurts for this pod so much because they've been through so much the last few years. Uh, they lost Granny, which was the oldest member of their pod, I think back in 2016. And, you know, the grandmothers of the pods are kind of the heart of the family and they, they are really important to the survival and just the morale within the pods and so they lost her and then you know then Tahlequah you know lost her calf last year and now Tahlequah is losing her mother Princess Angeline to malnutrition uh, which is one of the biggest um, factors in their decline here in the Pacific Northwest is the Chinook salmon that and then also other contributing factors to their decline you know are pollution and, you know, noise between, you know, shipping vessels and boats and, you know, but pollution is always, you know, a contributing factor to any ocean animals, you know, decline. And what I wanted to share with you guys uh, this month for Ocean, which is this brand or this logo um, company um, for ocean is, and this is not sponsored whatsoever. I didn't, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't make a dime off of that. It's just something that I wanted to share because I'm so passionate about their anything to do with helping orcas. I'm all about it. Um, so 
I wanted to quickly share for Ocean what they are. Are I think they were started by a couple of surfers uh, that went to Indonesia, I believe, and then they saw how bad the pollution and the you know the plastics were on the beach, and they wanted they felt compelled to do something about it, so they started paying fishermen by the pound to pick out trash from the ocean to pull out trash. And the, there's a small go ahead and link the their website down below and you can kind of watch their story. It's really cool. It's very moving. And um, what they also do, not only do they have their own fleet and pull out, you know, are helping, you know, the ocean and pulling all these plastics and helping all these sea creatures. They are also, I believe every month they partner with a nonprofit and then they, you know, send some of the profits over to that nonprofit and to support their cause. And so this month they are partnered with Orca Conservancy, which is a um, nonprofit here in Everett, Washington, or out in Everett, Washington. And um, so yeah, this month is the theme. They do, they they pick a different animal um, or sea creature every month. And this month is the Orca. And so you see there's like a black and white string and this is all made out of recycled plastics from the ocean and, and glass and then they have this little charm on there and they also do a subscription every month so like one month they'll do sea turtles and they'll do like sea they'll hit up a sea turtle conservation uh nonprofit and work with them so i think it's just really cool you're helping two you're supporting two different great causes with one purchase. And so the the bracelets are $20 and they come in this cute little drawstring and then you get like a little sticker um, or a decal with it. And it's just something to, to feel good about. You're helping two different great causes. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you're interested in the bracelet and the company, I will link that down below. It's you can collect all different kinds. It's really cool. I think I'm going to start doing that. Um, but even if you don't, I just want to encourage you to be proactive, be someone's voice or something's voice, raise awareness, um, be charitable, donate, you know, um, volunteer, do whatever it is that you can, whatever cause you want to support, whether, you know, it's, you know, a rescue, like an animal rescue or, conservation or if it's helping the homeless or you know helping out in another country with children or whatever ministry whatever it is i just really encourage you to become involved and to be a you know a voice for someone or something and to raise awareness because nothing no change ever comes from just sitting around and doing nothing. You know, everybody can do something to help somebody or something else. And um, that's how I truly feel. And I believe if everybody felt that way, I mean, we could really make a huge difference in this world. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And so yeah, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you would like to see more of my Dollar Tree hauls in the future. And I hope and I really, really hope that you guys <laughs> love this video. And I mean, if you didn't, hey, I can't be everyone's cup of tea, but I'm glad you watched anyways. I appreciate you. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great week.